Hey Blender Bob here. Today we are celebrating the first year, the first anniversary of Blender Bob on the internet. Yeah, one year ago I published my first clip. And today we're going to talk about mixing EV and cycles. Imagine you have this huge scene, like this huge city or forest or whatever, something enormous, and you need to render it in cycles because you want to get the maximum of quality. But you want some volumetrics in it. So maybe you have some fog, maybe you have some searchlight from helicopters, stuff like this. In cycles, it's going to choke. So you want to use EV to do this. The problem is that the scene is so heavy, EV cannot render it. And anyway, you won't get the same level of quality. So how can you use a volumetric from EV mixed with cycles? This is what I'm going to show you today. Okay, so imagine this is a very, very heavy scene. It takes forever to render like five hours per frame in cycles. It's really, really, really heavy. And you want some fog on it. And you want a searchlight from our helicopter monkey here. Now listen to me. This is very, very important. When you have something like this, you never, ever want to render the spotlight and the fog in the scene, in the beauty shot. Because if you make a mistake, if you need to change it, you're going to have to re-render everything again and it's going to take forever. So it's always going to be a separate pass that we're going to comp in later. For the beauty pass, what we need to set up is the mist pass. What is the mist pass? It's the same thing as a death pass. So it's like a grayscale image that goes from black in front to white in the back. If we look at the view from this angle, this is the camera, and you see this orange line here with a dot at the beginning and the end? This is the mist distance, and you can turn it on here in the settings of the camera. You just turn on mist, and you're going to see it. And this is the front part and the back part. And how can you adjust it? You go in the world here, and in the mist here, you can decide the distance. So you go from the closest to the furthest away the camera will see. You have to be careful if the camera moves to make sure you adjust it properly. All right, let's do a render. Remember, this is a very, very heavy scene and it's supposed to take like three hours per frame to render. Okay, I will save this as my beauty pass. So save as a beauty here and half is okay. All right, save and it's done. All right, now we need to do the fog pass. On the corner here on top, I'm going to create a new scene. So it's going to copy everything in the scene and they are linked, a linked copy. So that if I modify something in one scene, it's going to move in the other one. I will call it fog. Okay, we don't need all this stuff in it. We're going to turn off some of the stuff we don't need. So we don't need the background. We don't need the buildings because Evie cannot render them. It's too heavy. We don't need Suzanne. We're just going to keep the lights and the camera. In the render settings, we want to make sure we change it to Evie, of course. Uh, samples, I'll just, I'm just going to keep it to 64 for now. Uh, the tile size, the smaller it is, the more quality you're going to get. Okay, so 2 is the minimum you can get. You also have a start and end frame for where you want your fog to render. So you need to adjust it properly. Okay, so let's try a render. Of course, it's going to go much faster to render because there are only two lights in the scene. So it's like instantaneous. But you see the spot is not very strong, so I will have to make it maybe 10 times uh, stronger just so I can see it. So I'm going to change here, put another zero there. Okay, let's try another render. All right, that's much better. Okay, now we can save this. So image, uh, save as, and I'm going to call this one Fug. Half again, we don't need full for that. Save. Now we're gonna go into Compositor. All right, Compositor. We're gonna use Nodes, turn that on. I don't see my images. I don't know why I should see them by default. I'm just gonna add them. So, okay, I'm gonna fast forward here. All I do is to bring my two images in the Compositor. Okay, right here it's pretty simple. What we want to do is to mix the two images together. So I'm gonna have this one here, which is our Beauty Pass, and this is our Fug Pass. I'm gonna create a Mix node. So Mix and I'm gonna just connect them together. So this one here and this one here. And you wanna change the mix here for add because we wanna add the light in the scene here. Now it works. The problem is that my fog is overall on everything. And if you look here, we should have a mask for the buildings, but we don't. So the spot goes all the way to the end here. So how are we gonna fix that? We're gonna use our mist pass. This is what it looks like. So you see it's black in front and white in the back. So this is going to be our mask. We're just going to connect it and put it in the factor here. So everything that's black, it's going to cut the fog here. And you see the difference when I put it on and off. And you can play with it. You can adjust it. So if I add, let's say, a curve a node in between, curve, not VU, CU, RGB curve, and I put it on the mist here, I can play with it and it's going to make a difference on the density of the fog, kind of. If I just looked at the mist pass, you can see the difference it makes when I 
play with it here. Is this gonna work in every situation? No, it won't. Maybe sometimes the fog in the building will not look exactly the way you want it. You may have to do some tweaks. So I was working on Pacific Rim 2 and at the end there's this woman that controls all these robots from this kind of factory or whatever and I had to do the background and it was all full of pipes and everything and machinery and everything all in fog and you know what? We couldn't see anything at the end because there were holograms everywhere. It was dark, death of field and everything. But you know, these frames took six hours per frame to render in RenderMan, six hours. Well, we're in Blender, we have Eevee. And trust me, next time I need to do something like this, I'm gonna render it in Eevee. Yeah, sure, I will.